what is up guys? We are here with one of the first episodes of a uh, hopefully to be long series. Uh, history lessons with the undead. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing those on board guys. Leave me alone alright. So uh, as you can see actually let me fix that up a little bit. Cause that's gonna drive me crazy the whole time. Right, the disc was in alright guys. Don't don't judge me, alright. I'm sorry, that's gonna like drive me crazy. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry, alright. I had to I had to guys. If any of you wanna jump in and correct me if I get something wrong, you're welcome to, alright? You you are really you really are welcome to. Revolutionary War. Uh uh you guys hold up. I'm, I'm playing Watch Dogs too, alright? Because it was the only disc I had in. Maybe I should have waited to like for the thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm still doing this. Okay, that's 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 maze balls. That's maze balls. Oh, battery level level. Well, you know I have it plugged in, so fuck off. Where do I need to go? I need to go there. Anyway, Revolutionary War. If you guys aren't familiar with it, like, because you're from in a different country, I, you guys should be familiar with it, though, if you live in Britain. If you live in Britain, or, uh, what's it called? Oh, my internet quality is low, okay. If you live in Britain or America, I'm oh, sorry, I forgot my own, I forgot my own country's name. I mean, this isn't my old, this isn't my country, but still. <laughs> you know, I almost forgot the name of it. Anyway. Uh, Revolutionary War was fought mainly for independence. Uh, uh, many of you are familiar with the, if many of you are familiar with the, con with the taxes, and the Antalbrax, there was a T tax, which force, which was one of the main causes of the Boston Tea Party. It was actually actually the one of the only causes of the Boston Tea Party, really. Uh. So I'm about to steal an ambulance from a bunch of corrupt cops and possibly get shot to death. You get to have all. And showtime. <laughs> Look, I don't want to learn until school. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So anyway, until that point, uh, it was like everything was just mainly rebellious actions. Until uh, Lexington and Concord. At that point. Okay, have, have, have fun. Yeah. Uh, basically, everything was semi like, like, kind of. Like, basically, war didn't start until Lexington Concord. Lexington Concord. Like, I'm gonna give you guys, like, a brief summary. Like, I don't even think it'll be long, to be honest. <laughs> At that point, everything was semi-chill. Luxington and Concord was basically the bridge her. Shit, I can't believe I just stole the corpse. You're gonna want to drop him like you're talking, so. Basically, right. uh, in front of the FBI that happened. What that happened? Uh, you already have the cop, Mother Love. Listen to this. Osprey report. I don't know what happened, sir. It's like they they knew we were coming. You're relieved of your duties, sir. Tell Castro to be on the next boat. He won't want to be late. No, sir. Cooper out.
it. Okay, so Zendo's not doing a mission. The next predicted shoot on site is on Alcatraz at midnight. Spooky. <laughs> but what's the worst that could happen, right? Don't say that. Seriously, it's her make that. I keep that in mind when I'm being murdered on the abandoned prison island. I'm out. <laughs> he's black. You know he's gonna get shot by the cops. Anyway, uh, let's in Concord. Uh, British, British, British uh, soldiers heard that they can oh, they can man. confiscate guns along with arrest several colonial officers at the time. But what we what they didn't know is we basically had a shoot on site protocol on basically saying that if the British that if the British came and, and shots and if one shot was fired, we would essentially shoot back. I was there dude. Uh so what we did in that point is no one knows who actually no can't, can't have food. Rip, yo. Anyway. No one knows to fire the first shot exactly. I believe it was probably... I believe it was probably the Colonial Army for if the British shot. Well, it could have been an accident too. So, I believe though it was probably the Colonial Army because British would not have even probably fired and they were trained with their weapons. Meaning, I doubt they accidentally fired off a shot. Well, she totally hurt. Uh, so in that point, since there were so little colonials, like basically Americans, since there were so little of them at Lexington, they got basically slaughtered. Especially with British tactics at the time, I actually think they used the tactic all the way up to World War One, I, I believe, at least. Uh, which in that case, it still would not have been good. It was an effective tactic. Uh, it was basically where everyone lines up, especially because uh, their guns were so inaccurate. Shit! Find him. But I believe it was just, just better to line up with inaccurate weapons. line up with inaccurate weapons and then fuck the other guys up. Uh anyway, then they started going they started heading to Concord. If you don't know where that is, it was literally across a bridge from Lexington. In fact actually I think that was the next fighting site was on the bridge. Uh, Amer Americans won that battle, and that was the first spark of the Revolutionary War. And actually, the shot fired at Lexington is called the shot heard around the world, it said that that would change old history. And what you did, if you don't know, at the time, no one really wanted to challenge the British for the fact that they were one of the strongest countries in the world at the time. In fact, they were actually building basically an empire. But one of the colonies of their empire decided to break away, thus changing world history for the better. Not for Britain, though. Britain, Britain's empire collapsed a little after. Anyway, uh, many battles happened a little after that, the main ones is actually there's one main one you kind uh, you don't need to know, but it's still kind of important. Is Bunker Hill. Basically, they were low on ammo, low on gunpowder, and low on men. But they're held out. They held up 
in a place called Bunker Hill. Uh, the, pro the protocol was, if you've never heard this, basically one of them said, don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. And, uh, since they're all firing and they had good cover, Brit Britain was just, Britain was trying to march up this fucking hill, trying to kill them. And then, here comes, here, like, the Americans are just sitting on top of this hill, shooting down and basically slaughtering Britain, Britain troops. Uh, it worked out pretty well. It did, this tactic did work out pretty well. <laughs> Here's what my main concern is, though. Yeah. Either way, though. Uh, while the colonials were low on ammo and all that. They still did find a way to slaughter. To slaughter basically a lot of British troops. Uh let's see next battle. Get out of here before I And then I think the I think one of the next battles that you actually should know like you actually have to know if you wanna pass through any grade that teaches this. Uh Saratoga. Saratoga, the turning point in the war. I don't know much about the battle, but you just have to know basically that this was the turning point in the war. Guys, and because of this turning point, uh, and like basically this is a turning point in the war. All right, because of this turning point, we got foreign help. We got help from the French, German, and Spanish. Uh, I forgot what exactly they helped us with, but I know one thing they did exactly help with this. It was Valley Forge. Valley Forge was basically when the Americans were training their troops, essentially. Hi there. Can you tell me a little about the island? Well, of course, young man. What would you like to know? Is this place covered by CTOS? It was installed very recently, but yes. Are you sure you don't want to know about the history of this amazing cultural landmark instead? I've got the pocket guide, thanks. A canned experience is no substitute for the real thing, you know. Yeah, you're right about that. Alright. Anyway, uh... Yeah. That's basically what happened at, that's basically what happened at Saratoga and Valley Forge. They got trained. That should do it. There's more footage than I thought there would be. And then after... This is going to take a while. We won a lot more battles. I got one hell of a view. I don't know much of the battles that we won, actually. I don't know much about the Revolutionary War. Revolutionary War is very just... Eh. Oh, shit. There's footage of the cops murdering people on the rock five, six times already. Then I need to get out of here without alerting the murder patrol. No time. Camera 11. They're here? Shit, and that's gotta be Kester. Get out of there, Marcus. Nah, we need him alive. He can verify the list of names we pull. The cops are already inside. There's no planning yourself out of this one. Freestyle it is. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's basically what happened. Uh, I know one of the. I know one of the main battles we won is called. Uh, Fuck! I forgot the name of it. Um, let's think. Let me think here, guys. I actually have to look it up here. Thank you, thought this was gonna go differently, huh? <laughs> Ah, uh, very funny, Tony. Uh, 
Final battle of the fucking Revolutionary War, because I do not know much about this shit. I do not know much about Revolutionary War, alright? So leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Siege of Yorktown. I knew it was something Yorktown, I just didn't get the siege. Uh, yeah. Siege of Yorktown. French and American forces both surrounded the, uh, they both surrounded uh, a British fort in Yorktown. And we didn't really even have to fire any shots. In fact, we just, we just basically kind of just starved them. Like, we basically cut off all supplies and starved them. And eventually, it made them get to the point where they had to surrender or they were gonna literally die. Basically, uh, eventually he surrendered, and we were kind here since he surrendered, and he basically, like, no shots were fired, essentially. Uh, in the end, uh, America did end up winning. Do a different history lesson? I actually may do that. I may do that. Uh... Mostly war history. Let's see. Think of the next war that happened. <laughs> think of the next major war that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do Texas history. Fuck it. Fuck it. I know more about Texas history than I do. Fuck it. Texas Revolution. That's what we're doing. Okay. I don't know much about fucking fucking American history. I know a lot about Texas history though. Mainly because I live in the state. Texas Revolution. We're gonna make it yellow, because why not? Texas Revolution. Uh. <sighs> what do I say here? <laughs> you know what? 
fuck off. Get your own YouTube channel. No, fuck off. Oh no. Start a sweep. Yeah. Alright, Texas Revolution. Uh, I'm gonna keep going until like a stream reach in about 30 minutes. The cause of it mainly was we wanted, like, Texas wanted independence. for a lot of reasons. Uh, oh, the heath. Uh, one of the main reasons was Mexico, Mexico didn't allow slavery. Uh, due to that, due to one of those, due to that reason, actually, due to, that was one of the main causes of it. Uh, Texas wanted independence from Mexico. Uh, I think the first battle was at, I believe, Goliad. And that's one of the first battles I know. And basically what happened there was Mexico gave us a cannon. It didn't actually work, I don't, like, no one knows if it actually worked or not. I believe it didn't, personally, I believe it didn't. But it was to scare Indians. And then Mexico came back, Mexico came and said, Hey, we're gonna need the cannon back. We ourselves said, if you want it, come and take it. And that's what they did, they came to take it. And, uh... It didn't exactly turn out well. What's going on? Chief? Chief, he's not responding. Get over there, now! Shots fired! Requesting backup! So, yeah. Pretty well. And there were a lot more minor battles that really have no importance to the Texas Revolution. One thing you do need to know though is that Texas won, actually no one really knows this, but Texas won most of its naval battles. Uh, I think, I think that's for the main reason. That we had, well, we had a flag similar to the United States flag, and Mexico did not want to start a war with the United States. I may as well just die already. Yeah, Mexico did not want to 
start a war with the United States. Uh, so basically, because of that reason, we were able to get close up, and Mexico wouldn't know it was actually Texas until we fired, making letting us win most of our naval battles. Anyway, there's a lot more minor battles. Uh, none of them really have importance, really. To the, like most, of, like most of them don't really. They don't really tell you about in school, especially in my school, even in my school. But there are a lot more minor, major, minor battles. There was never, there wasn't really a major. Next major battle wasn't until the battle at the Alamo. I don't know what the battle of the Alamo is. I've told multiple people about it. I told I told I told you guys multiple things about it. There was under 200 troops in a old Spanish mission called the Alamo. People were there for about, I think, weeks, months even, uh, and we held out there surrounded by the Texas Army. On the last day, Mexico said basically, enough waiting, we're attacking. sides on the final day slaughtering everyone in the old Spanish mission the Alamo and then he actually sent a survivor of it what, what people don't know actually is that we took down about I think thousands of their soldiers by by firing about single shots Lots of violence, lots and lots of violence. Finally, yeah, but they, like, Santa Ana and his army. No, 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 not right now, dude. Anyway, uh, Santa Ana sent one survivor of the Alamo to tell Houston. That this is basically this is basically what will happen to the rest of your army. In that case, we basically we basically just didn't even surrender. In fact, we would rather our men die for their independence and surrender because of a threat. Uh, after, after we got the threat, uh, and like they basically told us what, what happened at the Alamo, we, we were not any, we were not anywhere close to surrendering. In fact, we never surrendered, except for at Goliad. But even then, <laughs> but even then, it still wasn't like that. Surrender actually didn't matter to us, at least. To Santa Ana, that was such a huge thing. But to us, it didn't really matter. In the end game, though. 
In the end game, though, it didn't matter even if we did surrender. Santa Ana massacred the people who did surrender. Santa Ana massacred the people who did surrender. Tracking down! Fuck, fuck, fuck. And was, he basically mastered everyone at Goliad. And because of that, it made us even more ruthless in the end. The, the, the final battle, Battle of San Quincento. Battle of San Quincento. I don't know how to pronounce it, it's Spanish. That's all I know. The final battle, Sam, we we were basically chasing Santa Ana's troops all around Texas. Eventually, they were tired. They were tired enough to just say, "You know what? Let's just take let's take a nap real quick. Let's rest." For which actually was a mistake on their part. I'm saying that because we were basically waiting for them to take a nap, like basically take a nap. And because they did, we we basically kind of ambushed them. We ambushed them, and they were basically just stumbling around trying to get to their weapons. In that time, we killed a lot of their troops and captured more. Location sent. Unit 1013. 911. Oh, yeah. Chief, what's going on? Chief? Chief, he's not responding. Get over there now! Yeah. Uh. Santa Anna, Santa Anna fled, and, you know, he took, we captured him in a small batch, like, the Texas captured him in a small not too far after, and, he surrendered, you know, is this thing working? Giving Texas, giving Texans, well, Texas and their freedom. <laughs> I'll watch it. Guys, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm stuttering now. No, I'm tired and I can't get my head straight. And also, I'm playing the video game, so I'm kind of like multitasking in here. <sighs> in the end game, though, after I think years of fighting, Mexico finally surrendered. Uh, and actually, we got annexed to the US kind of cheap. Someone in someone in Texas after we start up our own government. Someone in Texas said, "Want to get annexed to the United States?" Hold on. Again. You got to live the dream, man. Hold on. Again. You got to live the dream, man. You escape from the rock. That is one hundred percent legit. Okay, Anybody? they they do, do you mind, man? I, look, look. Please. I think I just want to sleep for like a year, if that's okay with you guys. Not right? yet. Yo, come on, come on. All right, fine. Fine, I'm up. Damn. And voila. Here with us now is City Councilor Miranda Kame with her take on this latest blow to Oakland's boundary. Anyway. Jesus Christ, people are interrupting. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill this game. I'm gonna kill the creators of this game. There's too many fucking cutscenes. Look, look. There's they too many cutscenes for one mission. Jesus. Okay. Okay, we good now. Okay. Thanks. Good now. Uh. The end game. Uh. Anyway. And it, it ended up bullshit. Anyway, this render ended up bullshit because. Even after we surrendered, they 
Mexico said that we were still that we were still a part of their like still a part of them. Basically, they say we're still a part of their land. Like, we're still a part of Mexico. So, in other words, our surrender, their surrender was bullshit. I think, but we actually, what, this didn't start... Yes. This didn't start until after... So after the US basically annexed us, which actually is his own story itself. After we got our government set up, one guy said that if we try to make allies with Great Britain and all them, and let them into the, uh, let them back in to the uh, state, the current state, that the US would be afraid and, well not afraid, but They would have they would have to annex us to stop that from happening. He was actually correct. I didn't want Hold on. I got an invitation. I will. Anyway, none of this started really until, well, I believe, fuck it. I can't get my head straight, guys, right now, because I'm tired still. So, forgive me if I, like, stutter a lot. Uh... Head straight right now. At the moment, though, I cannot get my head straight. I'm sorry. This one's. This happened for the longest of times, but jumping. finally, the U.S. annexed us after threats that we would bring in uh, other foreign countries, which we probably actually were not going to do. Probably. Yeah, but... Anyway, guys, since I cannot get my head straight, and I gave you a brief summary of history, uh, this is where the live stream is gonna end. I will see you all in the next one.